Hello everyone, early morning I feed my guppies with fresh dapnia. I'll start feeding my juvenile purple mosaic guppies inside this tub. And as you can see, they are really stunning. The colorful ones are the males, and those that doesn't have much colors are females. Next tub is my male Santa Claus guppies. The red and white color combination is perfect and makes them very stunning when viewed on top. Every morning, my juvenile full gold guppies gathered in this spot for feeding and I'm sure they are very hungry at the moment. These are my yellow tiger mosaic guppies as well and we also feed them with fresh dapnia. In this tub, we can also see a lot of baby yellow tiger mosaic guppies feeding together with adult guppies. Unlike some guppy strains where they also ate the smaller ones. These are my stunning adult male full gold guppies as well. And I will be releasing some of these males in the future. In this tub, we have some cute male dwarf koi guppies. And they also love to eat fresh dapnia. Next tub is where I place one of my favorite guppy strains, the Dumbo Ear Red Tail Guppies. Majority of the guppies here are males and I also added more or less 5 females in this tub so that the males won't wrestle with each other. After feeding all my guppies, I've noticed a lot of dead moringa leaves floating on top surface which occurs every morning since there is moringa tree near my area. So every morning I use my net to get rid of these moringa leaves. Last time, this tub is covered with floating duckweeds and we decided to remove 75% of them and keep a few duckweed plants but today, these duckweeds are starting to cover the entire surface again. So I decided it would be better to remove all the duckweeds in this tub. While cleaning the tub, I saw a prehistoric animal that is playing on top surface and I'm pretty sure she's going to lay her eggs in my tubs. Luckily, she already left before I will attack her. Anyway, after the dragonfly left, I saw a very large insect floating in this tub. And to my surprise, it's a large grasshopper. And it's dead already. I wonder how it got into the tub. Do grasshoppers lay eggs inside the tub as well? Let me know in the comment section. By the way, one of my friends gave me some of his Amazon Prag Beats. It's a floating plant, however, unlike duckweeds, this plant is not the messy type. Since it has larger size, so I will definitely use this instead of duckweeds. Anyway, I took the remaining duckweeds out from the tub. And I make sure not even a small piece left inside this tub. To make sure they won't multiply again. After removing all the duckweeds, a few liters of water were gone, so I had to top up the tub with fresh water again. Now it's time to take a few Amazon Prag bits and place them inside this blue container. We will wash the plants first to get rid of some of the duckweeds sticking on the plants. We will then place the Amazon Prague beads inside the tub and I think it looks cooler than the tiny duckweeds. I also make sure to position all of them where sunlight can hit them. If you remember, I placed all male Santa Claus guppies in this tub before. But a few days ago, I decided to transfer them to a large tub. Since there are too many of them. So we have male Santa Claus guppies here. And on the other tub are female and baby Santa Claus guppies as well. So as you can see, these female and baby Santa Claus guppies are very healthy. Once I see young developing males in this tub, I will then transfer it to the other tub where I place all the males. And these are my beautiful male Santa Claus guppies. And at the moment, there are around more or less 20 of them inside this tub. Anyway, since there are no guppies in this tub anymore, we will remove this tub in this spot. 
and we will power all the water inside this tub to avoid mosquito from laying eggs. For the meantime, we will keep the tub here so we can still use it in the future. As I said before that I won't buy another tub again, but then I bought another tub again. And it's the same size with other large tubs that I have here. So I thought it would be better to use the same size tubs for all the guppies. Because it looks nice and uniform as well. I'm a bit lazy today so I won't rinse the tub anymore. And I will start filling up the tub with fresh water right away. As you can see, I did not fill up the tub totally and we still have a few liters left to fill it up completely. Now we're going to use an old water from the tub to fill up the new tub totally. The old tub contains good bacteria already, so if we add it on the new tub, the new tub will quickly mature and we can use it after 5 days right away. This method can increase algae development, which is very important for my outdoor setup. After filling up the new tub, it's time to top up the old tub with fresh water. I realize there's a couple of duckweeds from the old tub, so I make sure to get rid of them before they can multiply. Today, we will transfer all my female Dombuir mosaic guppies in this tub. We will fill up this viewing tank as we catch all the females one by one. There are baby guppies in this tub as well. So I make sure to only catch the adult female guppies. After 5 minutes, we were able to catch all the females from the tub. These females have really nice half moon shaped caudal tail. There are light colored and there are also dark colored females. And both of them are beautiful to me. So I will transfer all of them to the breeding tub. I then transfer them to the blue container so that we can start acclimating them to the breeding tub. On top view, we can clearly see the difference between light colored and dark colored females. Now let's go ahead and acclimate the females to this tub for about 10 to 15 minutes. In this tub, I have four male Dombuir mosaic guppies. So we are going to catch all of them so we can select the best ones. This male has nice coloration, but the dorsal is not good. And the caudal tail is not half moon shape. For Dumbo Air Guppies, pectoral fin is very important. And as you can see, his pectoral fin is quite small in size, so it's not good to breed. The second male seems to have a large pectoral fin, which is perfect for breeding. And the coloration and pattern of its caudal is quite nice as well. But the shape is not perfect 180 degree. This guppy can still be a good breeder, but Let's check out the remaining two males. The remaining two males seems to be doing really well. This one is lighter male and this one has dark coloration as well. We will check the lighter male first. And the first thing I notice about him is its wide, perfect half moon shaped caudal tail, which is very stunning. Although it has lighter colored pectoral fin, but still quite large to be called Dumbu ear. The dark one is quite amazing as well, given that it has wide half moon shaped caudal tail. And its dark large pectoral fin is very attractive. Anyway, I decided to catch the two male Dombuir mosaic guppies from the tub. And now we will acclimate them to my community tank for about 10 minutes. This is my community tank where I place different guppy strains. And for some reject male guppies, Instead of throwing them, I put all of them here. So these are two male Dombuyer mosaic guppies that we selected for breeding. And they are both very beautiful. Now let's place them back to the breeding tub. After acclimating all the females, we will now release all of them to the breeding tub. Hopefully, we will be able to produce more Hapmon Dombuyer mosaic guppies in the future. When I'm about to release the two males to the community tank, they're already gone, so I think they jump out already. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. 
and thank you for watching.